Hi guys, so this is a really simple tutorial. I'll be showing you guys how you can stitch or sew easily around corners. Um, so you're, so it's clean or straight corner instead of having like a round bend when you're stitching around corners. So a few things that can help make this process easier is one, having a ruler and marking out on the fabric itself the seam allowance or where you're going to be stitching. So for me, that is going to be half an inch seam allowance and I'm just using my French curve and it has a line here, if you can see that, if my camera focuses. So it has a line here um, that is about half an inch seam allowance, I believe. So I'm going to use that to mark on my fabric the seam allowance for the fabric. Um, so I'm just going to mark a straight line here with my fabric pencil and hopefully the marking shows. Yeah, it's very faint, but I've made a line there and I'm also going to make a line here. So it's straight along that half an inch seam allowance line and then I'm going to go in with my pencil. Because my pencil is really faint, I'm having to do it quite harshly or do it quite a few times. So if you're looking at the fabric, you can see that this is what we need to stitch. This is going to be the straight line and I'm going to go onto my machine and show you guys how to stitch that. What I'm going to do though, I'm going to add in just a couple of pins so that the fabric sits together quite securely. Pinning it twice. And we're going to stitch here and stitch there. And I'm going to show you how you guys can do that so it's straight. So I'm going over to my machine and I'm going to make sure that that stitch line that I've marked is lined up with the needle. So lined up with the needle on my sewing machine. And that for me is about a seam allowance of five eighths of an inch. So I'm just making sure that that lines up securely. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to lower my press up foot. And that's going to hold the fabric securely and i'm going to turn my hand wheel of the sewing machine towards me to make sure that the needle goes through the fabric and then once i have all that secure i'm going to start pressing my foot pedal slowly and i'm just stitching along that marked line and i'm slowing down when you reach the end of that line and then what i'm going to do is make sure that when i stop stitching that my needle is through the fabric so with my needle still through that fabric i'm going to then lift up my presser foot i'm going to rotate my fabric by 90 degrees lower the foot pedal again the presser foot rather and then i'm just going to again stitch on that line and as you can see doing that means that we're going to get that perfect straight edge when we stitch So what I'm going to do, I'm going to demonstrate that again, but this time I'm not going to mark on my fabric. And um, so this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that my fabric is lined up together. And I'm going to use the seam allowance of a quarter of an inch, but I'm going to use the markings on my machine to guide me as I'm stitching. So I've adjusted my camera so you can see a bit more clearly. So as you can see, I've lined up my fabric and we're sitting on that quarter inch seam allowance and that's what we're going to stitch. So again, I'm lining that up with my sewing machine. I'm going to lower my presser foot, going to make sure that my needle is inside the fabric to begin with. And then I'm going to start stitching slowly. So this time, because we're not using markings, it requires a tiny bit of an eye for detail to kind of do a bit of guessing. Um, so what I would say, before you think you reach that quarter inch seam allowance, make sure your needle is through the fabric, lift up that presser foot, twist it by that 90 degree angle, and just check to make sure that you haven't reached that quarter inch seam allowance mark. If you have, then you can go ahead and lower your presser foot again and continue that stitch. If you haven't, I would just say do a couple more stitches and then repeat that process of making sure your needles through the fabric, lifting up the presser foot um, and rotating to make sure that you have reached that point. And once you have done that, you can clip off the excess and there you go. Again, you have a perfectly sharp corner that is stitched really neatly and that is it for this video guys if you did enjoy this tutorial make sure you like and let me know what other beginner friendly sewing videos you'd like to see me do as well i'll see you in the next one bye guys